What's going on, guys? I appreciate those of you that were hanging out waiting on the stream to start. For those of you watching the replay, though, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications when we do these live chats. You can take part right along with us. So, decided to go with something very particular today. Some of you already know, may have seen some posts maybe on Instagram or the little quick shorts video I did a little while ago, but decided to go with Manhattan Eau de Parfum from Raja Dove, Raja Parfums. Beautiful floral spicy, cozy, sweet tobacco scent, a lot of vanilla and tobacco, uh, kind of like a much more elegant and complex take on tobacco vanilla in some ways. Like there's definitely some similarity, but this is a little bit of, kind of on a different playing field, I guess you could say. Uh, a lot of florals here that doesn't really make it flowery, though. It's very robust while still being refined. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful fragrance. Have, haven't worn in a while, so I was kind of in the mood for it. Beautiful. Just such a beautiful fragrance. You'll see some people complain about uh, performance on the internet. I get really good longevity. It's just not a loud fragrance. After about an hour, it does sit a lot closer to the skin than you would think it would. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's situations for it. I mean, I don't need anything loud right now. Just a couple of light whiffs here and there to remind me that it's there. Plenty fine enough. So what are we doing today? I mean, discovery set that was part of the last package that the Nigerian giant Omas sent my way. Shout outs to Jordan. I appreciate you, my man. Which um, we'll try to get to all of them. There's a there's 12 fragrances here. Obviously, we're not going directly on skin. We're going to do test strips since it's 12 of them. Uh, so we'll briefly check each one out, look at the note breakdowns, and just kind of roll with it from there. So we'll wait till about the 10-minute mark to get started, give everybody that wants to be here a chance to get here. So let's get caught up with the chat for the time being. Climatics in the house. What's going on, my man? Frank said he's wearing one million elixir. It took a while to grow on me, but now I love it. I want to try, ro try Royal now. So Royal, uh, not as sweet as the other ones. So if you want one that's on the less sweet side, that you'll probably like it. Good to see you, Joel. Can not have a better name for a Friday the 13th than Sphinx Black, Black Anubis? Anubis, Anubis. I'm still not sure which way to say it, but it's a great fragrance nonetheless. Just made me smile. There you go. Devin is wearing Fahrenheit. Great timeless fragrance. Glad to be here for this live stream. Great to have you. Glad, you, glad you're here, and that's definitely timeless. I'm off Odyssey for Spencer. Still Warriors in the house wearing Body Out, Oud, Honor, and Glory. That's a beautiful fragrance. I still need to do my full review video on that one. To Me Kinetic. Never tried it, Fuzz Man. Never tried it. Kevin's wearing Red Tobacco. Absolutely adore it. I mean, I'm ready. So I've never tried anything from the house. This is going to be... A first me. Obviously, I'm going to start with Carved Oud, kind of the hype beast of, of the group. Basically, niche Oud Wood is my understanding. So I'm going to start with that one first. So I'm curious. I'm curious. They have some interesting names because I typed out the list of names in the description when I created the live stream and set it up last night. So uh, some interesting names for sure. Honey Oud, smash the like button, Adolfo. You are the one to beat right now in the chat for best smelling and for my taste, anyways. I love honey. Ooh, that's a great fragrance. Corey's wearing Lamal Elixir. Manuel wearing Electimus Trahan. Never tried that one. Let's see. Happy Friday. Perry Ellis America in the office. Boston Scent Magnetic for going out tonight. Bertus Vanilla Oud. Okay. That that slightly beats out honey oud in the runnings for me. Awan Ochoa wearing Aqua Fahrenheit. Never tried that one. Heard good things about it, though. Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum and then Ombre Leather tonight. That's a hell of a duo. Cafe Tuberosa for Enrique. Matthew's in the house wearing Sammy Andrus Majestic. Invictus Victory Elixir for Native 78. Syntology Synergy. Never tried it. You are someone like you from Ital Libre d'Orange. I've heard good things. I've had it in my cart recently with fragrance, but I ended up pulling it out. But for Barry Hero, carved oud to go with the show. So yeah, we're we're gonna start with that one. So interesting choice, interesting choice. Rob, what's going on? It's funny that you're doing a Thamine video because today's scent of the day was Regent Leather, which is not one of them. That's not one of them, believe it or not, because I, I had saw the list of names and uh, for the house, and I saw that and I was like, ooh, I, I'd like to try that. I knew I wore this for a reason, and P.S., it's incredible. Damn it. Yeah, it's it's not in the discovery set. It's not one of the 12, unfortunately. Ooh. 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 Guerlain Lome Ideal Intense. That's a beautiful fragrance. I have my little travel atomizer right here. 
And speak of the devil, the Nigerian giant Omas is in the house. What's going on, Jordan? How are you? Uh, double type. 40 degrees and raining here, so I decided to go with Hugo Boss Infinite. Always puts me in a happy mood. So I know you weren't able to catch yesterday, but I wore, our, you know, you and I's favorite. I wore Night Vision EDT yesterday. So I don't know if you got to see that because I know you weren't available for the stream. So a couple more minutes and we'll go ahead and dive into this discovery set. So I'll give everybody a chance to get here. Make sure to hit that like on the way in. We actually have less than half likes to viewers right now. Sad, sad ratio. We're better than that, guys. We can be better than that. Dominique, good to see you. Another one wearing fanfare. Okay, that one's not in here either. Hopefully you enjoy the samples today. I'm looking forward to them. So obviously I'm not going to get the full story because it's going to be on test trips because it's a dozen of them. But I want to try to get to all of them. We'll see time allotting. Uh, I'll try to roll from one to the next to the next instead of stopping in between each one. I'll stop every couple and catch up on the chat. Like I said, we'll try not to hang on each one too long. Election, hopefully the samples set for today. No, that's not in here either. So all the ones you guys are naming is not in here. If you're curious what's in the set, just click the show more for the uh, description box, and I've got them all listed right there. Photo Caval Iwombo, that's beautiful honey and violet. That's a beautiful fragrance. Go Spectra. I've heard good things. I've heard good things. Supposed to be an Ani clone. Hell yeah. Lebola Parfum, excellent choice. So I'm glad you brought up the hat. So this is one that back when they first got rid of Chief Wahoo, I could have got this hat for like 35 bucks on eBay. This was a couple years ago now. I've been having my eye on this hat for years. Um, it's the one large Chief, like I always say big Chief Wahoo because the, the last – couple years of the Indians when they still had Chief Wahoo he was a small patch on the on-field hats I never got one of those I thought it looked stupid with a small one big Chief Wahoo's the way to go so I have the all navy I have the navy with the red brim this was the only other one that I wanted and I just kept putting it off and putting it off and then next thing you know they got rid of Chief Wahoo in my opinion the greatest logo in the history of sports I'm sorry Chief Wahoo's that's the greatest logo ever um so it, they brought the C in for Cleveland and I was like, oh, I still got time. And it did really go up to like five bucks, 40 bucks, you know, because this this is a custom. This wasn't a, an on field. Lo and behold, then they turn into the Guardians. The prices on the big chief Wahoo hats, the customs skyrocketed. This is the most expensive hat I've ever bought. I paid $90 for this hat. And the only reason is because it's been one that's it's literally the only hat that's been on the bucket list for years that I regret not pulling the trigger on sooner. I did it to myself. But this was a hat that I just had to have eventually. The World Series patch. Major League Baseball. Rays 3D double stitch. I mean, it's a quality new era Cooperstown collection. 7 one eighth, perfect fit. Polyester hat. Good stuff. Great fit. Great look. I've been wanting this hat for years. So thank you for bringing it up. I debated on saving it for a hat video, but I just really, it's been killing me. I've had it for a week and a half now and i've been wanting to wear it so i just went in and pulled it out but yeah the only time i've ever spent this kind of money on one hat it's not worth what i paid for it but i guess technically to me it is because it's one that i absolutely had to get in my collection there's only three big chief wahoo hats i've ever wanted and i had two of them for several years now let me send it the day cocktail intense versace porum so we're about to hit the 10 minute mark orto parisi mega mayor for jordan today not yet. I'm, I'm going to try that one first. We're starting at right around the 10-minute mark. We're about to get started here in just a second. That's This is why I do the 10 minutes to give everybody a chance to get here. Uh, I think it's a beautiful, sharp lemon grapefruit kind of smell. I think it's like lemon essence or something like that with a salted coconut. Very beachy. Odyssey Port Rome Noir Ombre. I haven't tried it. I heard good things, though. I have a decant came in from Randy today which we're going to do a live stream, me, Dedrick, and Randy next week with all the decans they sent me. David, good to see you. Thank you, sir. Boss Bottled Elixir. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. By the way, for those of you that didn't pop by, IG would be the spot to do it. Make sure to go wish Angel a happy birthday today. Kubano, today is his birthday. In for a treat. I'm interested in Carve Dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm. that's the first one I'm going to reach for because it's the only one I really know anything about <laughs> as far as these. Uh, well, I have to have it first. You know, here in North America, we don't have those yet. They're all in pre-order. So uh, whenever you'll see everybody doing them at the same time is what's going to happen. Everybody that's in North America that pre-ordered it, 
that are reviewers, you're gonna you're gonna see it all at the same time. You're gonna see probably 15 or 20 Hawass ice videos in 48 hours from everybody that's not in Bangladesh, basically, because that that's that's the side of the world that's got it right now. Nobody over here has got it. If they do, they're not saying anything. <clears throat> So let me scroll down a little bit and we'll go ahead and get started. Find a good stopping point. What's going on, Jared? Good to see you. We'll stop at Joel's comment. I was going to wear Galan Loam Ideal EDP today. Tomorrow instead. Couldn't pass up Black Anubis just because of today. 10-4. We'll, we'll stop right there. Oh, no, we're going to stop right here. I agree. I, agree. I literally had a comment from a, a gentleman. I don't remember the name on IG. A private message messaged me for because uh, the hats and some of the pictures I put on IG. And he said... Uh, I'm Native American and it doesn't offend me. Bring it back. <laughs> so they, they kind of ran with that. They kind of went overboard, I think, with that. Then again, I'm not Native, Native American, so I can't speak on behalf of anyone. I'm just, I love the logo. I played my, my baseball team growing up all the way into the beginning of high school. We were the Indians. I grew up with Chief Wahoo on my hat every year for baseball season. I was a Braves and Astros fan, but I was also an Indians fan because – we were the Indians, you know, so, so there's that. So once again, thank you to, to Omos. Thank you, Jordan, for sending this my way. So I'm able to check them out. Let me find it. Where is Carved Dude? There it is right in the middle. So here we go. We're going to dive into it. Got some test strips. Give it three little spritzes. That smells exactly like oud wood. Has that fresh, cleaner smell to it, like just like oud wood. A little spicy, super airy. It does smell good. If you like oud wood, you'll definitely like carved oud. It smells cleaner, though. I know I said cleaner smell, like an industrial cleaner. I've always related that to oud wood. But I literally mean like clean, crisp and clean type of smell in this particular instance, because it smells a little higher quality, even on the test strip. It definitely smells like uh, better raw materials than what Tom Ford used in the private blend line. But even the private blend line, I mean, that's some good stuff. It was getting stronger as that alcohol is dissipating. You can see how, like, you can see how dark it is right here. Like I sprayed it pretty concentrated with three sprays right there. So, I mean, it's a little sample bottle, so it was very light spritzes. Very much woodsy industrial cleaner type of thing going on. Like literally smells exactly how I remember um, oud wood smelling. Let's go to carved oud. Highly rated. People seem to enjoy it quite a bit. Woody, spicy, oriental, resinous, and sweet. Not much sweetness going on right now. But Cypriol, cypress. Definitely get plenty of that cypress. Way more than the cardamom. It's probably the pink pepper that's really given this bright aromatic tone, but cypress comes across very aromatic too. It's much more aromatic than these accords would lead you to believe. Very, very woodsy though. South Indian oud, patchouli, cedarwood, iris, labdanum, sandalwood, vanilla, musk, amber, Haitian vetiver. So you got one, two, three, four woody notes. Cypriol oil can eh, come across as kind of an earthy woody green smell sometimes depends on the cypriol oil that they used very well could be contributing to the woodiness it's a very wood like i'm not surprised to see woody being the first rated accord because it's extremely woodsy very classy type of stuff um sure you can get away with it with a t-shirt but it, it definitely begs you to dress it up a little bit more this would be a great professional scent every day this is a getting shit done kind of scent profile, handling business. That's quite nice. Quite nice. It's easy 8.5 out of 10. So good. So good. Because we have a dozen to go through. That's why I'm going to keep it pushing. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep it pushing. We'll do away from the screen share. But yeah, it's, it's absolutely an 8.5 out of 10. We're starting off hot. Obviously, it's the most well-known. So it makes sense to start with carved oud. Absolutely one that's bottle worthy. If you don't have oud wood, if you have oud wood, ridiculously redundant. 
I mean, crazy redundant. The reason I don't have Oud Wood is I have Spirit of King Zorak, which this reminds me basically of the same thing because those are high, you know, higher in raw materials, basically niche Oud Wood, just like this is. I, I feel like I'm smelling Zorak from Spirit of King. That's my version of Oud Wood that I have. So it is great, though. I have to say it is really, really good. Let's put that to the side so I don't forget. And let's pick one at random. What do we have here? Royal Sapphire. No clue what any of the rest of these are all about. Not a, not even the slightest of accords. Nothing. Let's see what we're working with. It's got an interesting fruity, sweet kind of smell. This reminds me of something. What the hell does this remind me of? It's super familiar. It's got the grape soda smell to it, for one thing. On paper, it smelled, you know that grape soda vibe people talk about? Just super grape soda. This is so familiar. It's like I've smelled, I've smelled this a bunch of times is what it feels like, and it's, I can't pinpoint it. But all I'm getting is grape soda. Since all I'm getting is grape soda, we're, we're not going to be hasty. What the hell? Twenty nineteen release. Pretty good rating. Woody, fresh, spicy, fruity, sweet. See, I wouldn't think grape soda when looking at this note breakdown. It smells like freaking grape soda. It's not specifically citric. The florals, yeah, sure. It is getting a little bit more floral. Musky, woodsy. Not really all that green. And it's a fresh spice. I wouldn't sit here and call it warm and spicy. It's more sweet and fruity and woodsy. This reminds me of something very specific, though. Definitely not a not a knee. Kind of reminds me of like Icon Racing from Dunhill a little bit. I hate to do this. Trust me, you guys know it pains me to go here. I just want to see. I don't find it's all that animalic. It is getting a little earthy, though. That, that one makes sense. It is getting a little earthy. Settling in pretty quick. Highly rated. What's the smells like section? Never smelled that. None of these that I'm familiar with. And I don't really know Herbapura well enough. You know what? I kind of do get a little bit of that. My wife wears that all the freaking time. No. Not really all that much. Definitely not. I don't know what crazy person did that, but it does not smell like cool water wave. Not to me. You know what? I could see that. I can totally see that. Clementine, California. That makes sense, but that's that's not what was coming to mind. Regardless of trying to figure out what it's similar to, it does smell really good. Nothing challenging. Super mass appealing. Done before type of scent profile, at least on this test strip. A solid 7 out of 10. Very good. It smells done to death. It was immediate grape soda vibe on the test strip. And I don't mean that as a negative. I like, I like the smell. It smells really good. It's super mass appealing. I would totally wear this. But it's nothing unique. Not even a little. It's a really good fragrance. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Very good, you know. We'll keep it going. It's not bad. I'm going to have to try that one on skin. I bet I'd like that on skin. We'll do one more, then we'll check with the chat. Let's go with this orange juice. Sceptra? 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 Not sure. Let's give it a spray. Whoop. Let's see what we're working with here. Ooh, that's a little astringent. 
It smells like rosewood, like a in, like a lot of rosewood, basically, a lot of rosewood and some spice. Now, the only reason I'm going to this immediately is I just have to see if there's rosewood to make sure I'm not crazy here. Creamy, spicy, sweet, resinous, powdery. So it isn't. What the hell is it? It smells like freaking rosewood to me. And it's quite spicy. So that's the clove. That's definitely this clove, coriander, pink pepper. It's very spicy. Maybe that's the confusion that it's just so damn spicy. So coriander, Madagascan clove, pink pepper, wisteria, peach, African lang lang, patchouli, amber, ambergris, benzoin, siam, Somalian myrrh. So a lot of resins in the dry down. I, I was totally fooled that this could be rosewood here on the test strip. Immensely spicy, though. The more it settles, the spicier it gets. And there's a, like a juicy smell to it. Like it's getting juicier. It was very dry. Now it's getting like juicy, a little fruity. That's probably the peach. But it doesn't distinctively smell like peach. Still super spicy though. I bet this one's like a take it or leave it kind of scent on skin. Like you might you have to be in the mood to wear this. It's not just a grab and go kind of thing. You 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 plan for this scent profile. Now this is on the much more unique side. This doesn't remind me of anything. Other than I thought rosewood was in here, but clearly not. I love spice, but I don't know. It just doesn't speak to me like crazy. It does. It is a very nice fragrance, though. I think it's a 7.5 out of 10. Like, there's, it's much more interesting than the last one. Yeah, we're going to go with a 7.5 out of 10 on this one. It's, I'm so surprised there wasn't any rosewood. Very much smelled like it, but the spice makes all the sense. Let's get caught up a little bit on the comments. So there you go, yeah. Scent of the day is Assad. Why does Valentina almost smell like a slightly sweet powdery diaper? <laughs> I don't get that relation, but I mean to each their own. Love the regular scent. 10-4. Boz is in the house. Still wearing Halloween Man X, starting to grow on me. Donald, good to see you wearing Sauvage Elixir. Or Dior on Parfum today. Congrats. Congrats. I hope you enjoy it. Have card oud, and I like it more than oud wood. What smells higher quality than oud wood? That's the only distinction I can get. Scent profiles, from what I remember of oud wood, smells one to one. Love the logo as well, Ross. And I'm an Astros fan. Yeah, that's 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 my. So it's more about like like I said, it was that was the name of my childhood team. That was who I, I we were the Indians. So that's the relation there for me with Chief Wahoo. But I grew up an Astros and Braves fan. You guys have heard me say that a bunch of times. But when it comes to baseball, it's more about logos than teams with me. Like the old Florida Marlins logo, one of my favorite logos ever. Love the Astros logo, obviously. Uh, the Braves, A with the hatchet, one of my favorites. Um, and so on. But it's, it's more about logos with me with baseball. Let's see. We've got a friend who loves them. I mean, never tried any myself. Carved wood reminds me of a rainy day. Fresh, damp wood. That's fair. <clears throat> Nisho Atomic Rose has to be my favorite rose fragrance to date. That's fair. It's a beautiful, sweet, jammy rose. Nice and thick. Doubt I would enjoy it. It's not, it's not like a funky oud, though. Got to keep that in mind. Much more mass appealing type of smell, Boz. We broke a pride pour ohm. No worries, Joel. This brand is amazing. House of Thamine, not me. Hey, I don't blame you. Rhyme it out. I found one I found online. Too expensive to buy. It's one that smells like a Ventus. Forgot the name. Is older. It might be in here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe a Blue Heart. That's in here. Amber Room. That's in here. Like There's a dozen total. Let's scroll down a little bit more, and then we'll dive into another one. I don't have anything with those, those words in it. Brand is definitely worth a sniff. 
Gucci guilty absolutes and acquired taste. That's a phenomenal acquired taste, though. Common sense. What's going on, my man? I'm assuming that means you're renewed. I miss these live streams all the time. Always working, but I'm some I'm somewhat here today. But hope you're doing well, Ross. And salute to the chat as always. Send of the day, shades of column. Love this stuff. That is one I bought because of the gentleman that sent this to me, Nigerian Giant Omos, when he showed us our his collection. And uh, I, he came across it. I was like, you know what? Tell me about that one because I've always liked the bottle. It's always caught my eye. And he kind of sold me on it. I haven't wore it since it came in. I did a first impressions. But I'm assuming that means you're renewed. So welcome back. Found a clone of Rivere called Hanin R R <coughs> Great to see you still have a, have a great weekend. Absolutely. Fragrance dude's in the house. Package came today, Randy. I got to get with you and Dedrick. I'm going to start a little uh, IG group chat between the three of us so we can set up a stream for next week. Back to sleep. Well, but I'm out. Back to sleep. The sick. Oh, so you, you're sick. I'm sorry to hear that, Randy. I hope you feel better, man. Have a good nap. I'll, I'll message you later, and, and we'll see what kind of, you know, barring your health, what we're looking like for next week, my man. I don't believe what a prick F.A. can be. I'll tell you both. Man's New York stream news all nice to you. So, see, not everybody knows about that, Boz. You're kind of messing stuff up right now because <laughs> maybe this was planned. What he's doing, <laughs> me and George, me and George don't hate each other, guys. So, yeah, so you saw the stream. Yeah, the, not everybody remembers that for a year ago, and not everybody saw that, you know. So, Boz, you, you, you're hip to the game, man. You're hip to the game. So, just ordered. I'll deal with Diptyque. Any experience? No, none. Uh, that's not one of the ones. Uh, I have tried a few from Diptyque that on average Joe sent me, and that wasn't one of them that I've tried. Or it, it might have been, but it was on a test strip. I think that was one of them. I think that is one of the samples I have. I don't remember it. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure that is one. If you type in TLTG and Diptyque, TLTG Diptyque in the search, that live stream will come up. That I'm pretty sure that was one of them. When you get some time, Go go check that stream out because it's been it's been a while. It's been months and months and months, and we did that, and it was on a test strip, so I don't really remember the scent. But I got inside info. Yeah, there you go. EDP is way better. Received my package, Ross, and some guy named Putin let me take a plan back to plane back to USA. Shut up, Spencer. Jesus, George the Drunken Hobbit. Come on now, come on now, guys. So. Uh, let's see. Slight difference in scent profile, but a huge difference in experience. All right. So let's go ahead and dive back into the next one. See what we got going here. So I guess we'll try Amber Room. The name sounds cool. I would assume it's an ambery type of scent. Otherwise, why would you call it Amber Room or Amber anything? Oh, yeah. Very thick, sticky kind of amber smell. I'm going to like this one. It's like a more of a particular benzoin. It's got a, like a bit of an effervescence to it, but it still has that stickiness, like it's a thick amber benzoin. A little bit of spice, but I wouldn't really call it that spicy of a fragrance, at least not on the test strip, but I do pick up a little bit of spice. I can't tell. It doesn't come across peppery, and I'm not certain if it's cinnamon, but it doesn't come across peppery to me. But it is getting spicier as it settles, though. That spice is coming out more. This is nice. This is nice, but and it could be the test strip. But it doesn't come across as a deep scent. Granted, I just sprayed it, but it doesn't smell busy. It doesn't smell complex. It smells pretty straightforward and linear. Obviously, the only way to really tell if it's going to be linear is to give it time. Time tells all when it comes to these scent profiles, but that's the thoughts I have immediately when smelling it. Let's, uh, let's see what we're working with as far as note breakdown here. Pretty good ratings. Floral, 
spicy, definitely, woody, oriental, sweet. So ginger, bergamot, pink pepper, Florida grapefruit, Indian cardamom. There is cinnamon in here, Bulgarian rose and patchouli, amber, tonka bean, absolute, frankincense, sandalwood, vetiver. I bet that amber is a benzoin. I don't get frankincense on the paper. On this test strip, this cardboard, I don't really get smoke. I don't get smoky from this. I do get all this different spice. It's warm. It's fresh. It's rich. It's aromatic. There's a little bit of sweetness. Even a little bit of powder. I don't really get rose. But I guess on skin it would come out greatly because the main accord is floral. So I guess on skin it would be very rose dominant. It does smell really good. I have to say, this does smell really good. Like this is my favorite so far. This is the fourth one I've sprayed. And it's my favorite. Solid ratings. Nothing crazy. Ombre Nui from Dior is supposedly similar. Which Zerge off is this? 40 knots. That makes sense. I can I can correlate that, yeah. On the paper, yeah, that makes sense. I really like this one. This one's an 8.5. Yeah, Amber Room's an 8.5. This is this is great. That's one I need to put on skin at some point too and see what it's like. See if I'll potentially need a bottle. You never know. Let's go with Blue Heart because just I like the name. It says blue, so maybe it's a blue. I don't know. We can only hope, right? Got to shake it off. Huh? That is not a blue fragrance. Well, eh, maybe. Another one that's woody dominant. Another woodsy fragrance. They like woods. Something different. Can't pinpoint what that accord is. What is that? I'm drawing a blank. I smell woods, but there's this strange airiness to it. It's like a resinous spice of some sort, but it's not like a hot spice, not a warm spice. I don't know. It's not, it's not super appealing, but it's not bad either. But it's, I will say, based on the name, it's a little bit of a letdown because the name is something exciting for me. Spicy. So there you go. Sweet, creamy, oriental, fruity. So coconut. That's what that... So that's what's weird about it. Coconut is coming across weird on here. Coconut, saffron, orris root. Okay. This is a little powdery. Tonka bean, vanilla. Moth, amber, white musk. Also like this wide variety of other scent profiles. That's, that's a random choice here. Pretty highly rated. I bet it's good on skin. That iris is coming out a lot now. A lot. And I'm getting a little bit of a sunscreen smell now, so it makes sense that it's coconut, but I'm not getting all... Like, the spice came and went. Like, it's not saffron heavy anymore. The opening was, like, all saffron and woods. Like, I get this woody smell, but, I mean, there's not really a woody note breakdown. This one's a little weird. A little weird, but not a bad thing. It's getting better by the moment. The opening was just kind of, eh, but, again, it's a test strip. It's hard to judge everything based off of a test strip. You can't give a final verdict in these situations. It's different. And when I say that, I don't mean it in a negative way. The coconut is really starting to take over here. It's getting creamy. That creamy is the 
middle of cord. There you go. It's getting very creamy. It's sweet. It's getting kind of generic. Eh, seven. Very good. It's very good fragrance. Like none of them, I don't anticipate any of them be bad. I doubt anything's going to smell terrible. Um, it's just one of those deals where it just, it doesn't excite me. So that's going to affect the rating. It's good. It's pretty good. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. They can't all be winners, right? Oh, Peacock Throne. That's the one Boz was talking about earlier. Let's check that one out. The one Boz mentioned he saw a price on. See if it's any good. Shake it off. Might have to give my nose a break here after this one. This is number six. We're halfway through the discovery set. We're pacing pretty well. That's familiar. That's a familiar spice. Resins, a little vanillic maybe? Or myrrh? Maybe myrrh, because myrrh can have a little bit of vanilla smell to it, but maybe. And this one's a little smoky. Ooh. This one's interesting. Dark and smoky. A little woodsy, but I wouldn't call it super woody, but definitely has a smoky nuance going on. Let's see what we're working with here. Have my intrigue. Let's see. Decent rating. Floral, spicy, sweet, oriental. What am I getting that's smoky? It smells smoky. Hair fragrance. <laughs> Why is it coming across smoky on the paper? Sicilian lemon, nutmeg, pink pepper, jasmine, sambac, lang lang, taif rose, Turkish rose, Haitian vetiver, sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla. Definitely get plenty of rose, but it smells it smells smoky in the opening. There's a thickness to this rose coming in, though, quick. It's getting dominated by rose now. It's like all I smell now. Rose, just thick rose. I like rose, but I want some nuance. Give me, give me more than just rose here. It is smooth, though. It's thick, but it's getting sweet. It's becoming a delicious rose smell. It is getting better by the moment. I mean, that's typically the case with fragrances. And that's, that is one of the benefits to a test strip is they dry down rapidly versus your skin. It's going to take a long time to dry down. I wouldn't be able to get through the development so quickly. It's getting creamier. It's getting sweeter. Now it's a delicious rose. It just it went from a potential 6.5 or 7 to an 8. <laughs> it's getting really good really fast. This is an 8 out of 10. This is a beautiful, sweet, creamy rose smell. Start off a little smoky. I don't know why. Maybe it was my mind playing tricks on me. I don't know. Might have been maybe the way the nutmeg was coming across with something. I, whatever. I don't know. But it's a beautiful, 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 sweet, creamy rose. Now, yeah, I'm going to stick with 8 out of 10. So we're going to give my nose a little bit of a break and just chop it up for a minute. Take a sip. All right. I like Tarothy Blue. It's good stuff. Didn't know that. Ever since Christopher Chong was creative director of Amouage, took over as creative director. It's the hot Indians hat. Hell yeah. I love this hat. I'm so glad I finally got it. I've been wanting to get it for years. Way overpaid for this damn hat. I can't complain. Sensual Obsessions, Andy Warhol. That is a great one. That's one of my favorites. 
Can the grape smell you smell the Dunhill Icon? So Icon, Icon Racing gives a little bit of that grape soda smell to me. Um, I never smelled Icon, the regular one. Icon Racing gives me a little bit of it, though. It's like grape soda, then it turns into like Woody Invictus Aqua. <laughs> Love it. Love Icon Racing. But I haven't tried the original Icon. Where is this house from? I'm not sure. It's a great question, boss. Whoop. Made in the United Kingdom. So it's a UK brand. Yep. Lilac and gooseberries. Send a day made man in black for Slade. Neighborhood boss. So I, I wonder when you two are going to start messing with each other. Paul and boss, for those of you who don't know, they tend to good natured rib each other in the chat most of the time. Yeah, I've, I've never smelled it, so I don't know. The Icon Racing, though, the green bottle, I definitely get it in the top. Not as much as I got in, in this one. Which one was it? Was it Royal Sapphire? Yeah, Royal Sapphire. So I have them organized in the order in which they were sniffed. Yeah, here we go. Let the games begin. <clears throat> One sec. So my watch is charging, so I didn't get the alert that I have some text messages. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. A few text messages. <clears throat> Start. Here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into another one. <laughs> Sinuses are acting up because of that cool front. So it's just one side. This nostril's clear. This one's a little stuffy. But we'll make it through. We're going to be fine. Let's grab whatever the hell this is. Imperial Crown. Imperial Crown it is. Again, just like with the rest of them. I have no idea what I grabbed. We're going to see what's what. Nothing's been bad. There's been some. There's been one that's kind of redundant to a bunch of things. Royal Sapphire. Very mass appealing. A couple strange ones. This is familiar. <clears throat> Very spicy. Kind of smells similar to uh, this one, I think it was. No, that's dried down and changed greatly. This one. Which one was this? Amber Room. No. Amber Room hasn't changed much. There's a lot of spice going on here. It smells similar to the opening of, I want to say it was Spectra. So Regent Leather is not one of them. I wish it was. It's not one of the 12 that's in the Discovery set. Georgia Black, Black Orphan Clone. Oh, man, X. Must be snobs. Just had to mention it. I'm, I'm personally not a big fan of the opening, but I really like the dry down. Like, give me two or three minutes, and, and I'm good. I guess I forgot the racing. I knew it was Dunhill. I wanted to talk about. If not, maybe similar to Karagos. I'm not sure. Epic Woman. Smells like Epic Woman. See, I've never tried Epic Woman, and I need to try that one before I try the 56 x trade. Michael Gassaway is in the house. I'm a little late to the party. Have you smelled? Yeah, that's the first one we did. I watched the replay regardless. Heard it's an improvement on Oud Wood. Curious to hear you take PS. Love the hat, my man. Appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, it, it just smells like niche Oud Wood. Very much. I, it felt like I was smelling Spirit of King Zorak, which is what I have, which is niche Oud Wood. Um, so if you have that, it's the same fragrance. Smells like it to me anyways. Um, I would... I would get the thymine over oud wood it does smell higher quality but i mean it's not a great deal different but you can probably get it cheaper than oud wood that's something to factor in too this is super super spicy super spicy let's let's see what we're working with here imperial crown so to make sure i put the right name here we go. Smells 
smoky, spicy, resinous, woody, sweet, black pepper, LME, pink pepper. So there you go. All kinds of spice. Somalian frankincense, leather, guyac wood, patchouli. So a bunch of smokiness. A lot of pepper, though. It's pepper, pepper, pepper. Like there's a lot of black pepper here. So peppery. Super spicy. I kind of dig this. So this is one that would probably be fantastic on skin. This one I like so much, I'm going to give it a shot on skin. I'm just going to go ahead and spray it on my hand one time before my nose completely clogs up and becomes useless because it's getting there, guys. We might not be able to do the whole dozen. The leather comes out more on skin. Ooh, this one's good. This is the best one. This is my favorite one. It's a spicy leather with some smokiness. Peppered leather, too. Ooh, this one's 9 out of 10. This one's outstanding. This opening's great on skin. It's way better than on the paper. The pa it was good on the paper. It made me want to spray it on skin. Yeah, this one's real good. This is my favorite. Imperial Crown. This is one I would want to get a, get a bottle of. This one's really good if you like spice. This is my jam. This is my kind of stuff. I think it's great. It's outstanding, actually. Nine out of ten for Imperial Crown. That's the best one. So, guys, I think my nose is good for one more. I think we'll be able to do eight. I think we'll be able to get through eight of them. I'm going to do one more because my nose is wearing out pretty quick at this point. What is this? Cullinan Diamond? Whatever that is, we're going to give it a shot. We'll see how I feel after this one, but might have to at least take a long break because my nose is getting tore up at this point. It's taking a beating. Ooh, this one's totally different from the rest of them. This one's a little, uh, is that oud? A specific oud, like a sweet oud? Rosy berry oud. Yeah, that's what I think. Rose, some kind of berry, and maybe a little bit of oud. Ooh, thick. Another one that's thick rose. Let's see what we're working with here. Make sure I got the name down. Cullinan Diamond. All right. Whoops. Whoops. Spicy, woody, floral, oriental, sweet. Black pepper, orris root, rose, vanilla, suede, amber, cedarwood, kamari musk. No fruit. Because, look, it even shows the sweetness, but that doesn't just smell like vanillic sweetness to me. It smells like some kind of berry. Could be the way the rose is coming across, I guess. On skin, I don't get the pepper. Whoo, Imperial Crown's all the pepper. That's what it is. Enrique, you nailed it. I do get oud satin mood from this. It does remind me of that. you damn right. Sure as shit. Yep, you nailed it, Enrique. It does smell like oud satin mood. Very much so. It's very silky smooth. Yep. Thick and smooth, but it smells like a berry sweetness. This is really good. This is a 9 out of 10. This is outstanding. This back-to-back -back 9 out of 10s, yeah. This is another one I could see myself going for. Whew, man. Yeah, I just had my eye just happened to catch that comment.
man, yeah, that's phenomenal. It's a, it's a very thick but smooth, sweet rose smell, and I thought there would be a little bit of oud. Maybe I guess it's that suede note that's kind of fooling me here, but, man, that is outstanding. My nose seems to seems to be okay, so I guess we'll keep going. We'll just give it a little break. we got four left. We've been through eight so far. <clears throat> Let's see. Tarathi Blue or Rubroco, which is better? <clears throat> Overall, I would say Tarathi Blue. Uh, but if you want the fresher, more watery, I guess you could say, version, the better one for the high heat would be Rubroco Theorem. But I think overall, Tarathi Blue is the better fragrance. It just, it, it's, it's a richer scent. And it just speaks to me a little more. They're both good. They're very redundant. They're both good, but I would say Tarathi Blue is a little bit better. Cut it short. Lawn to mow and Leatherface Halloween setup. Well, appreciate you being here. You have a good one, Steve. Noel, good to see you. John Barbados Vintage. Love it on this cool, rainy fall day. Smells so classy, but not posh and very modern. I have this thing, whatever I buy, I think it's not as good as something else out there. <laughs> mow the lawn with a Jason mask. That's fair, Boz. That's fair to have that thought process. It's kind of what uh, that particular scent profile is based of. It's an oud rose smell because, like, that's why I'm surprised this didn't have oud in it because it smells like oud satin mood. Um, it's hard to tell you how to envision a thick, sweet rose if you're not familiar with a thick, sweet rose smell. Um. And it makes the oud come across sweet. Like it's a fruity smell. Like a berry. Think like a purple fruit. Or not even necessarily plum or grape. But like even like almost like a passion fruit. But really more like a berry type of fruity sweetness. And it an intense woody smell. Like I said, that's it takes away some of the funk from the oud. Like it's really hard. If you've never smelled oud sad mood, it's kind of difficult to get you to visualize it, you know, without sniffing it for yourself. That's a good price. It's definitely cheaper than Oud Satin Mood, and it smells like Oud Satin Mood Eau de Parfum. I've never smelled the X-Trait. I have a decan of the X-Trait. I've just never sprayed it. Doing a little late, but wearing Lamal Le Parfum. It depends on your taste, but I think Royal Sapphire, because it's so massive, it was the mass appealing one of the bunch of the eight I've smelled so far. I would say that's great every day, and then um, Carve Dude, but Carve Dude's not all that casual. Uh, professional scent for every day. You can wear it every day for that. I mean, you can wear it for whatever the hell you want, but just situational appropriateness, I would say it's a good professional scent for every day if you're going to wear that every day. But Royal Sapphire was the one. Is the most mass appealing one. It is a seven out of ten. It's still very good. Just kind of smells done to death. Start off smelling like grape soda at first, you know. Very much a somewhat blue fragrance, I guess you could say. No, I don't, I don't really do the coffee bean thing. I've tried to do that over the years. I don't find it makes much of a difference. A little bit, a little bit. Um, more like oud satin mood than amethyst. Methus, amethyst. How you say it? Happy to see you getting your hands on Thamine. Enjoying the impressions. I appreciate that. Thank you, man. So, kind of want to give my nose a break here, guys. Eight fragrances like this, strong fragrances too, back to back to back to back over and over. Kind of wearing my nose down. And I'm already a little stuffy to begin with because of the weather change, the cool front that moved in with the rain and all that. So, I guess we'll just chop it up for a few more minutes. Anybody have any random questions or anything like that let's go ahead and do that instead and we'll you know we did eight of the 12 i think my nose is kind of shot at this point that's a lot of sniffing we're gonna put that to the side jordan omas thank you man thank you this i am absolutely going to where the hell is it imperial crown i'm getting about that's the only one that i decided i needed to spray on skin pepper very black pepper heavy if you don't like heavy pepper Avoid at all costs because it is dominant black pepper, smoky leather. This is fan freaking tastic. This is my favorite. This is the one that I'll get a bottle of 
certainly. I'm definitely going to get a bottle of this. In fact, let's see. Just out of curiosity, let's see what my guys over at Fragrance Buy have it for, if at all. One sixty one. Is it in stock though? Fifty ml for one sixty one. It is in stock. Fifty ml is all I need. And the the thing that sucks about this is literally last night I bought. I, I did an order of seven fragrances. Last night. This is what I get. I'm not going to just buy one fragrance from them. So next order, next time I order something from them in a couple of weeks, this is going to be in it. This is going to be in it. Yeah, I'm here for it. I like it a lot. It is definitely my taste, especially for this time of year. Peppered, spicy, I mean, smoky leather. It's awesome. I like it a lot. Super masculine. It's a great, great fragrance. I mean, Rivera is really nice. Hey, dude, thanks for the hat stretching tip. I can wear the vintage twins hat now. Didn't help, didn't help them the other night, but I like the Astros too and have an orange early 80s Nolan Ryan esque 5950. So I, I'm assuming you got the hat jack. I had to use my hat jack yesterday. I don't know if you saw uh, my hat video that came out on my other channel yesterday. Uh, one of the Saints hats, the Bill Up. So when you put the hat jack in it, it naturally makes it curve down like this a little bit. And you hit it with a little bit of steam going around and just let it sit with it held in place. And it fixed it. I did it yesterday after I recorded the video. Or the night before, because I recorded the video the night before. But yeah, get, it's called the hat jack. You can buy it from Hat Club. I think Lids sells it. There's a bunch of places you can buy it online or something like it. You don't get no break. Get the sniffing. Shut up, Spencer. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Wish I could switch my vanilla vibes for Soleil Blanc. You sure don't like vanilla vibes? I think that's a great fragrance. That's probably my second favorite from them. Uh, Lipstick Fever being my favorite. Pull out a smell and salt and get back to work, bucko. <laughs> yeah, mush, huh? Ross, is there any way to correct an atomizer that's now spraying a stream instead of a mist? Not that I know of. I mean, there might be some home remedies you could search online. Nothing I'm familiar with, though, because I have several that would would need that adjustment, too. Uh, like, it makes me not want to wear them because it's just like a squirt gun kind of squirt. <laughs> Terrible. What are your fragrances coming in soon? Which ones are you planning? To get? Oh, so I'll tell you what the, the order ended up being. Let me go to my order. Am I still logged in? I am still logged in. Okay. So, spent four hundred and forty dollars last night after two uh, ten dollar gift cards and a ten percent off code that I use my points on, and I bought sixty ml of YSL myself. I'm finally doing it. Hundred ml Gentleman Society. Um, got a decant at the beginning of the year from Randy. I'm finally getting a bottle. Um, Y E D P Intense. I mean, I got to get all of them. I have a decan of that one, and it's my least favorite in the line. It's funny that to see people saying it's the best in the line, but I understand. It's still, it's a, it's a good, really good fragrance. It's just not my favorite version of why. Rocious Man, because I never got it because I wanted to buy Rocious Man Intense that came out. So I got both Rocious Man fragrances. Uh, Light Blue Summer Vibes, finally getting that, adding it to the collection. And then Wanted EDP. So I got two very, very, Mixed review releases coming in with myself and wanted EDP. I'm going to be my own judge on these. Worst case scenario, and they're just disappointments. Video topic, most disappointing, <laughs> disappointing releases of 2023. And there can be immediately two poster children for that. Because there's a few I'm already trying to gather, slowly gather a list of that. Because I'll do that towards the end of the year. Uh, a most disappointing, just like best of. Best designer releases of the year, best niche, best overall. I always do those annually at the end of the year, but I want to do a most disappointing of the year too. And uh, it seems like a lot of people have those as kind of two of their top ones. So we'll see. Because look, there's a chance that Rocious Man Intense is a disappointing release for this year too. I don't, I've never smelled Rocious Man, believe it or not. So I have to get the original to try the Intense is how I looked at it. So I ordered those two. So 
YEDP Intense, a 60 ml, Gentleman Society, 100 ml, YSL Myself, 60 ml, Rocious Man, 100 ml, Rocious Man Intense, 100 ml, Light Blue Summer Vibe, 75 ml, and Wanted EDP, 100 ml. So that is the order. I spent $440.07 US, $598.29 Canadian. I spent a lot of lot of money in the last 48 hours. Happens. So where's the where was I? Well, I got behind quick on the comments. I'm sure there is. Crave dude or something like that. There is. It, they ripped off the bottle too. And I don't think it's La, it might not be Latafa. I know there is one though. Somebody's gonna say it in the chat. There is one. I don't know if it's exactly Latafa. It might be. Late to the party, wearing Comro. Good stuff. Zafiro collection. There you go. That's what it is. And I forgot, is it craved oud? I think instead of carved. That's hilarious. So you just got here, Jen. So it was uh so this was sent to me by uh the Nigerian giant Omas. This was part of the package that he sent me the other day. And that was the first one we did. So you might want to scroll back right around 11 minutes into the stream we started that was the first one i did was carved dude everybody that as soon as they get here they're like did i miss carved dude it's been like the thing so it's funny that's the one you guys really went that naturally was the reason i started with that one so just scroll back to like right around 11 minutes into the stream that's when we got to that one got aqua since the blue because you it's a real good one the dry down is surprisingly nice hell yeah i'm glad you like it my man i'm glad you like it it's one of my favorites Ready to even bother smelling any of the sub fifteen dollar fragrances of Marshalls? So the loose bottles, really not. I, I I don't really mess with them. I just keep on going. I don't really bother stopping and sniffing them. It's funny that you ask because I have people wreck. You know, oh, you need to get this one. You need to try that one. And unless something just strikes me as just in the moment, I typically just keep on going. I'm very in the moment when it comes to the fragrance shopping. I'm sure there are. I just, I just don't know. I just personally don't know. I'm sure somebody in the chat will weigh in on certain ones if they're familiar with them. I was in the gym today. Despite bad weather, just had to brag a little. Well, I'm proud of you, Boz. I'm proud of you. I went to the gym earlier, too. I did, I did shoulders and traps today. I love vanilla vibes. So it just seems like easier to wear a sunscreen smelling scent profile. Um, I don't know if I've ever sprayed it. I'm trying to remember if I ever sprayed it at Ulta. Um, or Sephora, I'm sorry. If I ever sprayed it at Sephora, I want to say I did. Just don't remember. I know it doesn't have all of the vanilla. Just ordered myself, too, after sampling it. Look forward to your take on it. Yeah, because I'm going to be my own judge because there's been a lot of mixed emotions. That's been a polarizing release. So what's going to happen? That's going to be one of those fragrances where if I like it, people are going to be upset that don't like it. And if I don't like it, people that do like it are going to be upset. <laughs> the world. It's special. Everybody's special. So bad weather here, boss, and I'm headed to the gym. Maybe Joel will give it a try. Myself gets a bad rap because it smells so damn good. See, there's Spencer's vote. It smells good. Myself smells good. It literally just YSLY and Lone put together. So look, if it's a nice, pleasant, mass appealing smell, I'm going to tell you guys. I don't understand the fuss. What's the problem? If, if that's genuinely what it smells like, a combination like walking down the path is something along those lines, of course I'm going to like it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I like the mass appeal and stuff. Eight out of 12, you're a fighter. I'd be sneezing my ass off. <laughs> mass appeal and safe. Got to have some. So here's one that absolutely does not like myself. He can't stand it. He returned it. Yeah, Nashville's great, right? I got it right here. I've been keep pulling the cap and sniffing it over and over. Yeah, I did a live stream on it Tuesday. It really is a beautiful chocolatey kind of smell. It's good. It's good. It's the most gourmand fragrance he's done. It's not a complete gourmand, but gourmand-ish. And it's really delicious. It's a delicious smell. Yeah, he he doesn't miss, man. Picture the Snoop Dogg audio. That motherfucker don't miss, man. Nah, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss. That audio, that's Niles. Niles does not miss. So, yeah, I'm with you on that, my man. 
Is that Dylan Blue? I spy over your left shoulder. Where? It's not, but but which one are you talking about? Dylan Blue's on the shelf over there with the other Versace's, but which fragrance are you talking about? This is all the stuff that's closest to me, and all that's all Middle Eastern stuff going up and down there, those first three. Then the next two down are some different cheapies. But this shelf, that shelf, and that shelf, not on not on this, but the shelf behind, that's all Middle Eastern stuff. That's Latafa right there. As you slide over, you get to um, Rayon Tradition, Sensual Obsessions, Alexandria, Afnan. Then we got our Moff, Paris Corner, majority of that shelf. Dua and Genre Parfums, Rasasi, more Paris Corner, Fragrance World, Cadillage. Like I can just go, <laughs> just keep going. That's what those three shelves are right there. See, I've seen a lot of that. I've heard a lot of generic comments about it. Let's go tribe. <laughs> yeah, so there's a Cleveland sports fan in general with Scott Aromatico. Good to see you, Scott. <clears throat> Zafiro crafted oud. That's what it is. I wasn't sure if it was carved oud or what, uh, like craved oud or some shit. Like I know they twisted it a little bit, but crafted oud. Recently picked up a replacement for oud wood. Just finished my 30 ml. Didn't feel like paying Tom Ford prices again. Came across a loose bottle of Sir James called the Essence Delicious Cream Sickle Gourmand. Let's see my next blind buys would be Angel Share, and Palace Athene. These are my those are my plans. I got to try Angel Share first, though, or maybe it will be Apple Brandy. Depends on which one I like best. I'm curious on what you're going to think about Angel Share because there's people that really, really love it or people that just think it's a complete waste. That's a that's a no in-between fragrance, too. You're either just absolutely in love with it, which I absolutely love that scent profile, or you just don't, don't like it and don't get why people love it. It's a no in-between kind of fragrance. Lamal Elixir was better than uh, Altair. Hopefully... It's scoop it up when it comes on Aura. I mean, I'm sure eventually they'll get it, I would think. Uh, Fragrance Buy had it for a quick stint. It sold out in like an hour, like a couple weeks ago. They're pretty good about getting stuff quick. They had Altair already a couple weeks ago, and it sold out in minutes. No, he actually returned it, if I remember correctly. Let me scroll down a little bit. Oversprayed Italian love a couple months back and took a cloying turn for me. Can't get past it. Probably getting getting put it up for sale. Damn, sorry to hear that. Um, that's one I don't have. If you do want to sell it, um, think about it. Message me on IG. I'm a potential buyer. That's one I'd like to get that I don't have. Slowly accumulating the light blues. So um, I'll be up for it if you want to maybe think about it and maybe message me on IG. Maybe we can work something out. Maybe it's, if it's if I feel it's a valuable price for me, I'll buy it if you want to sell it, basically, is what it comes down to. So uh, keep that in mind. I'm, I'm up for it. This is one I don't have that I want. So not every day I have a chance to just grab it. It just falls in my lap like your comment. It's like, hey, it's here, and I might sell it. So if you decide to, let me know. I might be the one to buy it. <clears throat> yeah, that's Spencer's second win. He's won Dior Home Sport 2021, and he's won 100 ml Apache Bot on the, members, on the member giveaways. Those are my three kind of shelves. <laughs> I bet. What a lucky man he was. What's another fragrance with the fizziness of something like Tonka Cola? Ooh. Yeah, because the way that spice comes across, it's almost like the carbonation of the cherry Coke, you know? So I know exactly what you mean. Um, I would say something with a lot of aldehydes usually gives that fizziness. Certain benzoins will do it too. It's an effervescence, as I like to say. Trying to think. If you want this, a similar scent profile, though, that's the tough part. If you just want the fizzy effect, I mean, like I said, I would go after something with aldehydes. Those are good for that. Picked up Altair yesterday from Venba. Love the fresh vanilla tone. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet. My decant hasn't got here yet. I got that and intense red tobacco. I got decants coming. Cherry cola is good. I agree. 
It smells really good for 10 minutes. Then it's just orange blossoms, which I do like orange blossom. One thing it does well is reminding me of what masterpiece YSL Libra is. That's fair. That's fair. I have a feeling I'm gonna like it. It probably not gonna blow me away or anything. Kind of like how Y EDP intense. I, you see, I just I just told you guys on my order. I just bought a bottle. It's nice. It just didn't blow me away. It's not my favorite. Y. It's my least favorite Y fragrance, but I still bought a bottle because it's still good. Because I love the DNA. So that's probably what's gonna happen with this. But it's, it's gonna be good, and I'm gonna wear it. But it's not gonna be like, oh my god, guys, you need to buy this. That's not gonna be the case probably. This is an assumption, but I think it's a pretty safe assumption. Also picked up Desir Toxic, which I've been wanting to pick up for a while. That's really good. It's been a while since I've worn it. Um, the cannabis note comes across kind of like a smoky green, more so than an actual marijuana smell. The black currant's just right. This tart, fruity smell at the top. It's kind of strange that it gets compared to Layton. Very, very faint similarities. I get, I understand why people compare it to it, but I mean, if you do a side by side, they're not that similar. They definitely do the same job and there are some similar nuances to it but i mean it's not it's not close like the internet will make you believe you know at least my take cherry cola but like tonka cola so much i don't know if cherry cola will capture the nuances it's close it's definitely close it's very close overall it's right here now i will say it doesn't it doesn't turn powdery on me like Tonka Cola does, not as much. I'll give, give a little spritz on this hand. My, my nose is coming back a little bit. Wow, oh, that was a beautiful spray. Nice and smooth. This is such a good scent profile. I love Tonka Cola. I still need to do the review on Cherry Cola. Maybe I'll start working on that. I mean, I, I need to spend time with it, so maybe next week I'll do a full review on this one. I'm starting to get the weather. God, this is good. Very bright, spicy, warm, has the cherry Coke smell. This is that much, a bit spicier than actual Tonka Cola is. And I get more cherry out of this than I do out of Tonka Cola. It's a juicy cherry smell, more so than like a sour cherry. It's good though. It's good though. If you like Tonka Cola, I mean, it's pretty accurate. I'd call it just off of, you know, the little bit of, I mean, this is like the third time I've sprayed it. I would say it's in the realm of like 85%. It's pretty damn close. It's really good though. As far as this line, now I haven't tried Wild and Tobacco, the red tobacco clone, but this Sidrat Essence and Super Crush are the three I have. This is the best one to me. Because Tonka Cola is my favorite of those. I mean, I love Sidrap Waze, but Sidrap Essence isn't quite as good as Sidrap Waze. It's it's a little fresher. It's still a great fragrance. It's just not as good. Whereas this is pretty much just as good. Still, I would prefer Tonka Cola. I still would take Tonka Cola over the clone, but it does a good job replicating it. Play out for a few more minutes. We're about an hour and 15 minutes in. Yeah, that was this morning. That was this morning. So I, I won't spoil what I said. I, I have a feeling you're going to agree with my assessment on it. So message me after and let me know what you thought. <laughs> or, or comment. Yeah, comment. Why the hell not? Uh, comment in the video which, if you agree, disagree, your thoughts. Definitely let me know, Joel. Because I know you got a lot of experience with that fragrance. Just a side-by-side, Ani lasted nine hours on skin longer. But Ghost still had me, gave me a good seven hours. Angel Sheriff, yes, definitely for the cooler weather. It's a little much for the heat. I, I can't imagine anybody really enjoying that in the, the warm weather. And himself an Argos case. Yes, yeah, Christian sent him one. Such an Argos fan. He just had to have it. Yeah, yeah, Christian sent one his way. So, yeah, Justin, uh, I saw it in the video, and that's a beautiful display. Because, I mean, Christian showed it in the live stream that we did over here. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a badass case. I don't even know where I would put that if I would get one. I'd have to make a spot for it. But yeah, it's a beautiful case. Speaking of Leighton, is Detour Noir is pretty close. It's a bit more woodsy, I find. I just can't believe that price and the look of it. 
I mean, the bottle's weird looking, but the, the scent's good. The scent's really good. Like I said, it's just a little bit more woody. I haven't picked that up yet. I haven't even smelled it. Talking black currants, awesome. It comes off strong on my skin, yeah. Tonka Cola does have a cola accord. Mm -hmm. in, so that doesn't, Enigma doesn't have the cola accord. And Enigma is much more complex. It's more about tobacco, the cognac sweetness. Like it has the cola vibe, but Enigma's got so much more going on. Enigma's a better fragrance. I love Mancera Tonka Cola, but I would absolutely take Enigma over it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please don't mistake me for this. Yeah. Um, it's basically Mancera's take on it. They're not the same fragrance, but they have a similar vibe. Cherry Cola, you know, but uh, a lot of heliotrope, cognac, tobacco. You're going to get a lot of that from Enigma. Enigma has definitely got a lot more going on. It's a better blend. Good to see you. Late to the live today. We'll watch full replay later. Toscano leather. Clone vibing. Noel doesn't want it as much as I do. <laughs> the Fahrenheit Parfum versus Brain Heart. I saw your shorts video. There's magic in the OG, but the clones are doing, houses are doing great. So I had it in my cart and I pulled it out. Um, I'm going to get it at some point. Jared with the $10 super sticker. I appreciate you, my man. Thank you, sir. See, great stream. Glad I made this one. Missed the last couple and did watch them after the fact. Christian, I presume, also commented on my videos about St. Margaret's fragrances. That was really cool. Yeah, Christian's a good dude, man. He's definitely a good dude. Don't die, people. Stay away from drugs and don't go to jail. <laughs> I'm happy for a minute because Salvatore Ferragamo Aqua was in Nordstrom, not the blue. Ugh. I don't have Italian love. You're talking about Italian love, not Italian zest. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was talking about Italian zest. Did he say Italian love earlier? Because I feel stupid if so. Because I'm talking about Italian zest. I could have swore he said it's Italian zest. Now I got to scroll up and look. No, yeah, he said Italian love. Damn it. I was mistaken. Percival, my apologies. There you go. You got a customer with Noel. I don't know why I was thinking Italian zest. My apologies. Yeah, I want Italian zest. That's the one I don't have. My bad. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Italian love's great, though. Italian love is great. <laughs> yeah, you need some Italian love. There you go. It's really good. It's really I like it better than uh I like it better than uh Forever, the previous release. On a cruise last month. Yeah, see, that's the one I want that I don't have is zest. My apologies, I was mistaken. But uh, on that confusion note, we're an hour and 19 minutes in. We got through uh, you know, majority of this discovery set. We got through eight of them. And talked about Cherry Cola from Paris Corner for a minute. But uh, I appreciate you guys hanging with me. Jared, thank you for the super sticker. The member renewals, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys being here and hanging with me for a little bit. Uh, next stream will be on Monday. Not sure what or if we'll have a topic or what it will be. But we'll have a live stream once again on Monday. On Wednesday, I will be live with Justin on his channel. So I'll be on five streams Next week, one of my streams is going to have me, Dedrick, and Randy going over some samples they both sent me, some decants, um, Ingenious Ginger, um, Issy Miyake, Noir Ombre, um, Yellow Dream, Valentino, um, and then uh, Coral Fantasy as well, and a few others. Like there's, there's a few fragrances in there between the two of them. Um, so we'll be doing that stream. That's going to be one of the streams next week. And then, like I said, Wednesday, I'll be with Justin. So Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday over here, and then Wednesday on Justin's channel. So I hope you all have a great weekend. Awesome, awesome weekend ahead for you guys. And uh, catch you guys on the next one. Check out today's review from this morning if you haven't yet. I'll see you guys around. Y'all have a good one.